Hello students, I welcome you in this video. Today we are going to discuss about the second chapter that is plants. So you know plants need energy in much the same way as humans, animals and birds. They need energy to grow, to replace their own out parts, to get rid of wastage and to reproduce. Students, you know, plants are special because they synthesize or prepare their own food. So, first topic is how do plants prepare food? How do plants prepare food? A plant, a plant makes eats food in eats green leaves this thus green leaves are the food factories food factories of the plant food factory for the plant and this process is known as photosynthesis a process by which plant prepare their food is known as photosynthesis so how can we define photosynthesis so here is the definition the process by which green plants make their food their food is called photo synthesis okay so you can easily learn definition of photosynthesis the process by which a green plant make their food is called photosynthesis for better understanding I am going to draw a plant here I am just going to draw a plant look here this is the flower of the plant that I am going to draw students look at the diagram here is a simple diagram of a plant I have drawn for you now plants need raw materials for the preparation of their food what are the raw materials raw materials required raw material what are the raw materials first one is carbon dioxide and second one is water this is the two raw materials which require for the preparation of food these raw materials these raw materials converted into food in purges of 
sunlight and chlorophyll. Students, what is the chlorophyll? What is chlorophyll? It is a green pigment. Chlorophyll is a green pigment present in the green leaves of plant. Chlorophyll is a green pigment present in the green leaves of plants. Sunlight Sunlight is available during daytime in carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is also available in the atmosphere and water. Water plant takes water from the soil with the help of root. So here is the sun. During daytime plant get sunlight which is essential for the preparation of food and also carbon dioxide carbon dioxide from the atmosphere plants get carbon dioxide from the atmosphere at the same time they release oxygen gas oxygen gas into the atmosphere okay and they also need water water they get water from the soil <coughs> with the help of their roots now carbon dioxide students plants get carbon dioxide from the air through stomata so what are the stomata stomata are the tiny pores present on the leaf surface. Second, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is also essential for the preparation of food. It is the green cloud it is the green cloud pigment present in the green leaves of plants Due to this pigment, due to this pigment, green color pigment, the leaves color is green. Okay. It is essential for completing photosynthesis. Okay. Students. Some plants need extra food in addition to what they prepare by photosynthesis. These are the plants that grow in poor soil which lacks nitrogen salt. They get the extra nourishment from the insects and they are called insectivorous plants. So how can we define insectivorous plants? plants plants that trap and feed on 
insect. Insects are called insectivorous plants. insectivorous plants for example for example venus flytrap and pitcher plant venus flytrap first example and second one is pitcher plant pitcher so okay students in this video we have studied about the photosynthesis a process by which plants prepare their food in insectivorous plants and some keywords for example chlorophyll stomata stomata are the tiny pores present on the leaf surface so thank you students